food. Welcome back. Tax day is April 17th, and more than 65 million Americans will pay nearly $2 trillion in taxes. But what many don't consider is the way in which the tax code reinforces racial inequality in this country. The tax code is an important contributor to the fact that black and Latino wealth are the lowest on record. Wealth is important because it is the primary measure of economic well-being. Here to discuss this with me is Alexandra Bastian of Policy Link, who is joining us from activism's hottest spot, the Equity Summit, which is wrapping up in Chicago as we speak. Alexandra, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Amara, and thank you everyone for including Policy Link in this conversation. Well, of course, there's no conversation about the racial wealth gap that can't include Policy Link. So, um, Policy Link actually has a primer for advocates, for people who care about the racial wealth gap, called Building an Equitable Tax Code, which lays out the ways in which tax laws, including the one passed last year, drive racial in inequality. Um, how so? Yeah, the, the main thing that our current tax structure does is it subsidizes the wealthy at astronomical rates while leaving low-income folks to continue fending for themselves. Um, many people do not realize that um, the way that our tax code is structured, what we call the asset building budget of the tax code, that's the money that goes back to you in terms of credits and deductions. Low-income folks tend to not benefit from those. So the majority of that is going to those who are already wealthy. Mm -hmm. um, the top 1% claim more benefits from our tax code than the bottom 80% combined. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a lot of money and go a lot of money going to folks who ultimately do not need it. If you earn money off of investments, off of stocks, you're taxed at almost half the rate as you would be if you earned that in income. You know, there's a big difference in what um, someone who's benefiting from, from capital gains. So if you invest in the stock market, which is something that um, a lot of low-income folks do not have this disposable income to do, mm -hmm. um, you pay a lower tax rate on the money coming to you from that income than you would if you actually went to work every day and earned a paycheck. So it's a constant reinforcing of the wealth disparity. And one other thing is that wealth primarily, even outside of stocks and bonds, is primarily held by people who own houses. But as we know, there have been these historical barriers to people of color owning houses in this country. So, so there are so many factors that contribute to um, what we call the growing racial wealth gap. A white household has 13 times the wealth of an of a, of a African-American household. It has 10 times the wealth of a Latino household. Mm -hmm. And one of, one of uh, the large ways in which this happens is that we have all, all of these institutions and, and um, structures like our tax code that um, contribute to that. So not only um, do low-income folks and people of color, um, not only do they not itemize their deductions, it's not simply a matter of choice, they probably only qualify for the standard deduction. And so even if you have a house and you're a person of color, if you're an African-American, that house that you own might be um, uh, valued at less. Mm -hmm. So there's many pieces that play into that, and they all have a historical context, all of them um, with deep racial um, um, tension and, and racial exclusion. And, and that's why uh, it plays such a large role in how people of color are able to benefit from even something that seems like it's available to everyone, like mm -hmm. the mortgage interest deduction. Right. We're actually going to be talking to um, a workers collective in a little bit who, Damayan, who they have an innovative way um, through work, work cooperatives to have uh, employees actually own their own wealth and labor as a way to remedy that. So the good news is that there are solutions out there. Um, we want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you for Policy Link. Thank you for the Equity Summit. Um, and for more information about Policy Link, the racial wealth gap, and some of the possible solutions, please go to thelastsip.org and click on how to help. We will be able to show you there how to help. Uh, stay with us for more. Thank you for joining us, Alexandra, again.